Roblox was exposed big time. A massive Roblox influencer was exposed. This popular Roblox game is getting a lot of hate right now. Roblox is being sued for condo games and much, much more. So make sure to watch until the end of this video because we cover absolutely everything. And make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and let's get into this video. First story comes from the one and only Ruben Sim breaking the news that Roblox is in massive legal trouble. Actually, not even massive at this point. It is in a monolithic amount of trouble. He basically stated on Twitter, a class action lawsuit has been filed against Roblox highlighting the gap between Roblox representations of safety and the actual experiences of users. It includes an uncensored screenshot from a condo game. Now this excerpt from the lawsuit basically TLDR states how it's easy for predators to essentially predate on children in the platform and this is obviously no lie at all. It's been pretty obvious for years and highlighted many many times. I've even made a document in the works basically going over a massive ring on Roblox of child exploitation with disgusting people trying to get in contact with children and Roblox is basically just facilitating this all with no punishment whatsoever. There's no doubt that this situation will probably end up with Roblox getting an even worse reputation than it already has because while Roblox arguably does crack down on its condo games, they literally don't bother taking any action whatsoever when it comes to disgusting predators proliferating on the site as we've highlighted in other videos such as Mabakia and it literally took 1000 reports to get giggly goon clown of all people off the site forever. They literally do nothing and with the argument that, you know, when Roblox bans one condo game, two more pop up like a Hydra's head. As Ruben Sim correctly puts it, add age verification so these weirdos can't make more accounts and then bam, they just re-upload these games again. And let's not even mention how Roblox right now is being exposed on this news article for apparently having anti-Semitic content of burning Israeli flags, in which basically links in with the video I've made a couple weeks back. And oh boy, the screenshots are definitely something highlighted in this news article. Basically, an undercover a reporter joined one of these anti-Israel games on Roblox and saw the most crazy things like bro Roblox is wilding right now. This person is literally saying die Israel. Another person says Israel can never be a country. Another person literally all calls them dogs and another person is dressed up in a very stereotypical outfit and another image shows the Israel flag burning. So yes this is definitely a Roblox moment of all time to say the least. Now the next story comes from the extremely popular Roblox game called Blade Ball and I'm sure many of you know about that game. Like, it's right next to Block Fruits on the front page with Block Fruits at like 500,000 players and this game almost at 200,000. And recently it was involved in drama about two weeks ago, I believe, because people were saying how it was a pay-to-win game, despite the fact that developers have to kind of rely on those game mechanics to make a profit from their creations. That's just how it works. And many people are arguing, oh, you know, it's pay-to-win, so it's actually ruining the playability of the game and it's really annoying and stuff like that. But, you know, some other people people were like arguing massive paragraphs about how this was literally necessary. Well, it looks like more drama has actually come out with this Twitter user called Lied You stating, anyone else getting increasingly tired of all these games which have no original ideas and just copy and paste what is popular. And in this original thing here, it shows Blade Ball and a copy here shows Soccer Ball. Hmm, I wonder where they got that inspiration from. However, Mellow Blocks came out in the replies and stated, make some deeper research and you'll actually find out that they all partner with the same botting service that make their release a instant success towards the Roblox algorithm. And then they state here, I mean, Blade Ball is a copy of an older game. Now, the first thing this person says is a massive allegation. They basically claim that these people were working with a botting service and basically as soon as they release the game, the game gets basically botted somehow to the front page and acts as like an instant success, almost like an industry plan in a sense. And if this is true, this is a massive allegation. However, there's no proof behind it currently, but this person's claiming it is true. So it still remains as uncertain substantiated as for now. However, the second point they make is actually seeming to be true because the creator of the aforementioned tweet we spoke about earlier also literally states how Blade Ball was copied and then states in this tweet here, ironically, Blade Ball is also a copy of a smaller game called Deflect, which was inspired by Genji Ball on Overwatch. And as you can see here, they basically stated how the creators of Blade Ball were unoriginal and so unoriginal, in fact, according to them, that they stole the idea from another game called Deflect in which was made before for the creation of Blade Ball, and the creators of Deflect also stole the concept or were basically quote unquote inspired from Genji Ball from Overwatch, which is a completely different game. So if you come to realize all of this, it's just a massive web of plagiarizing and stealing content and assets. And here's other people stating, did you know Roblox Blade Ball is a copy of Deflect? I personally played Deflect before Blade Ball, and also many other people were stating, well, duh, we all know that Blade Ball copied Deflect with Lucky HD stating, Blade 
Football is not original in the slightest, lol. So it just seems like there's a massive ring of people just stealing and taking quote unquote massive inspiration from each other. And this just basically adds on to the already growing hatred towards Blade Ball for basically being a pay to win game and how it has, according to many players, lost its original playability and is no longer fun. For example, Red Lion here states Blade Ball will have its downfall soon enough due to it going from being a fun game to a massively pay to win game. And Lied to You says, definitely agree with this. But what do you guys think about this situation? Do you really care that Blade Ball was a stolen concept? I mean, tons of games on Roblox are either heavily reliant on inspiration and or are literally just straight up copies anyway. And also, what do you think about, you know, Blade Ball as a game? And do you think it's pay to win? And that brings me on to my last situation. A mutual of mine, a popular Roblox influencer known as Desired with almost 100,000 followers on Twitter, was basically called out recently for having some not so appropriate interactions with people much younger than him. For example, flirting and being really weird to a 13 year old and keep in mind he had just turned 18 around about late July. For example here, let's read out some of these wonderful, wonderful DMs. <clears throat> Desired. Good morning Lynn. Oh sorry I didn't see this, I was taking care of a baby at the time but hi. Lynn hi. He giggles. And then Lynn says hi yeah. And then Desired says Lynn smoochy. And then Desired says my baby. Oh my god. Desired says I want to kiss. Ah Lynn. And then Lynn says hmm yeah. And Desired says, hi. <laughs> and then Lynn's like, hey, yeah. And then Desired says, I want to hold your hands. Keep in mind, this is like a 17 or 18 year old speaking with a 13 year old. Pretty weird. Or when Desired also allegedly made other really weird messages to a 14 year old when he was 17 to 18, as I'll read in this batch of screenshots right here. Fuck me hard, please. And then this person says, no. And then Desired here says, you should take some BBC, JK, JK. And then they put like this twerking gif. And then he says you be like and then here he says i've been suffering for the last five years of my life and i'm getting to the point where i know it's just getting worse and worse i've changed i've been patient for a change nothing is working it just gets worse and i'm getting worse mentally dangerously worse to the point where i've been thinking about suicide so this is obviously desired i mean i know the desire is going through a lot of stuff right now obviously no joke when it comes to this but just for anyone who's like saying this isn't him the person who actually had these you know messages with him state well the account in which sent this is his full legal name so they're obviously not going to release the account name because that's going to be basically doxing him but nevertheless it is him and these allegations hold a lot of weight to them but do i think he's a pedo because of all of this well i don't think so but i do think however this is very degenerate behavior and he should not have been flirting with people much younger than he is this is a pretty disgusting behavior and he cannot be trusted with a platform he has currently he needs to take a step back and maybe when he's ready in like a year and a half he can come back if he's actually changed and reverted. Especially when he also, in his response, uses ADHD as a point to try and cushion the blow and almost excuse his actions. And obviously when you address these allegations, and that's literally the first thing you use in your massive response, well, it didn't really do that much. It's no doubt that many others will call that out, and that is what happened in this situation. Cow Cow and Jack Breeze both stated how it was a bad response because why are you basically using ADHD as some, like, excuse in this situation? And he had originally came to me stating that these were all jokes and who knows maybe they were but like why are you even messaging a 14 year old this like what is the punchline it's just really weird behavior that makes people uncomfortable anyway that will be all for today thank you all for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and comment your opinions about all these situations down below and make sure to watch my previous videos too especially the Kaneko Kin situation because that is still developing obviously this video as well is not intended for hate harassment or cyberbullying this is just an educational video into the entire situation as a whole Goodbye. I also would like to give some recognition to my main to my main man partner.